Greetings, Commander. สวัสดีครับมุนชากาทุกท่าน Welcome to another Nikkei video. God is a victory, and of course, just recently for today, um, Mika's kit, Christmas Mika has been released, and we'll be looking at how she does. Okay, so I guess I just did a video on Ludmila. Yep, this is not your time. Both looking at, so there's nothing different much from the Korean one and the Japanese one as well. So let's look at her skills and we'll look at how she performs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll move my dumb face around here at first. Oh, uh huh. She's so so Mika's nobody. She's a supporter, submachine gun, eh. Burst skill one, iron type. There has been a lot of iron type EKs released recently. Ammo count 120, typical. Reload time two seconds, okay. 11% damage. But she deals 250 damage when attacking the core. Only four Nikkeis have been dealing this amount of damage towards the core. I think it's. Uh, I know one's in like Miranda, and then there's Ethanol, and then. Very doesn't mean much because the issue with submachine gun is that it has low damage, it has low accuracy, which means doesn't really attack the core that much, and also low uh, low burst gen. That's why submachine gun has been one of the worst weapon in the game ever. The only good submachine gun that we use is litter, not because of her weapon, but because of the skill. And also volume to some extent because of her cooldown reduction. Now let's go look at her skill. So as a burst one, she's a cooldown 20 seconds, which is coming at the right direction. Tidying up her skill. Attacks when landing one uh, 120 normal attack. So basically when she really when she use all her ammo when she, uh, when she reloads without ammo up overload she will get one stack of tidying up which reduce the damage taken by two percent stacking up to 10 times and last for 15 seconds uh, so she has the whole team defense buff for 20 percent damage one thing uh, she's not gonna be using PvP for this. The damage is a bit too low and requires her to be reloading a bunch of times, which is not gonna happen in in arena. And activates when the caster tidying up is fully stacked. Ah, she gives everyone forty percent increased ammo when she had when she's at ten stacks. So um, if I do a calculation properly let's see mm. uh-huh so some calculations here submachine guns deal 20 per th tw 20 ammo per second so th so 120 divided by 20 so, so that's six seconds and then plus two for every every reload and you times that 10 times so it's almost a minute and a half Ooh, yikes you're not gonna see that use a lot of time ever well you can, you can think of novels skill where she gets a stack every time she lands 150 ammo no, not 150, 100 ammo, but for 5 times, you take, it takes around 3 bursts to get there, but here, 10 times, it's gonna take like 6 bursts, just to reach the max ammo, eh, max stack, uh, I really don't really like this number, maybe if they reduce it to, let's say, 80, or 60 would be better, then skill 2, blessing cannon, why can oh yes, she's the from the Karenades with Mika and the Lorta, which means little cannons in Japanese and Korean name. Then they changed it to Karenades for the English version. Hmm. Blessing Cannon for an SMG. 
activates when landing 150 normal attack, so increases all allies stackable buff by one. Increases stackable buff by one, so that means like for example Toph, who will have a hard time keeping up her skill one buff, might be able to use. Mika and her team, but a first skill one and a first skill one in the same team is like, ah, why even? And then activates when entering a battle. Effect self increases burst gauge speed by 300%. So she will have in total 400% burst gauge charging speed for herself. Okay, so the three problems with SMG is that low damage. Still low damage, low accuracy, nothing has been done, and low burst gen. I think Mika will get a fix on this one. Probably she might even see her usage within the arena, the SP arena because of this. Mm, because when it's four times the normal burst gen, she could probably be able to reach the burst gen capacity of Senti or Anise. And then the burst cooldown 20 seconds it affects all allies to dispel one debuff and increases attack by 40% for 5 seconds and increases attack by only 5 seconds so it's it's just the worst type I mean the worst version of litter's burst skill and also without a cooldown reduction at all I would still get her because she's limited, but I wouldn't go for max limit break. So maybe just like just one copy. This spell one debuff, I I kind of want to encourage you guys to at least get one copy of her because of this. This spell one debuff. In the future, it seems like they're going to apply a new system where there's a debuff debuff within the game. So maybe we'll be able to see Mika being used by then and also Coco as well. So far, a good kit, but hey, let's say C tier maybe. Now let's go look at how she performs within the... Uh-huh, right here. Mm -hmm. Let's go and I'll move my face here. I want to be a grown-up, just like Ludmilla. Very cute. From behind the bold ribbon. No field hot spring to me. We can clean now. Very cute. I like the burst animation a lot. I like the burst animation a lot, but in the video you really can't see the her burst generation power because there's already Ludmilla attacking as well. Let's have a look at the Japanese version, what it's like. Mm, I, I put it probably the same. <laughs> He's way more timid within the Japanese voice. What is that? Little Kiano. Okay, so of course we can't miss the Korean version as well. I 
I'm trying to look at the first generation when it was me last. Sayo? I've been trying to look at the first generation when it me last reloading or something, but that just doesn't happen in the video at all. Very cute, very cute, and of course, we can't miss the upcoming Neverland promotion video. Welcome to this place, blanket and snow yet filled with warmth. The winter version of Neverland is about to begin. New characters, costume. Ah, uh, of course, we'll be looking at the HD version. Hey. <laughs> I'm excited for this Christmas event. Welcome to Snowfield Hot Spring. Am I going the right way? If you need anything from Snowfield, just let me know. I'll protect you, old timer. <laughs> Have a nice time in the hot spring. As I hear, you don't have to worry about getting lost. Uh huh, new costume. Of course, it's White Rabbit and Black Rabbit, Blanc and Noir. New story event. Ah, I like. Very cute. New mini game. Yes, it's a dating sim. December 7th. Yes! Woo! What do you guys think? I'm very excited for the up upcoming update, which is going to be a new day in like 14 seconds. I mean, 14 minutes from now. I'll see you in the next video, Commander.